Hi everybody, welcome to the Manifold channel. Today we're going to create a layout that shows uh, the United States, Alaska, and Hawaii uh, all close together in the layout. And uh, that's a common task in GIS, at least in the United States. What we're looking at here is a map of uh, the, the lower 48 United States, often called the continental United States, CONUS. Uh, and uh, here's Alaska and here's Hawaii. Uh, this is in latitude and longitude projection, but we want to, these to actually look a little bit closer uh, to each other. We don't want uh, Alaska quite as deformed, uh, distorted as it is in latitude and longitude. So uh, let's let's go to work on that. What we're going to do is we're going to right click on, on the states and uh, create a map. We're going to create three new maps. And the first map I'm going to call CONUS. And that's going to have nothing for a base layer. It's going to use states as a layer. I'm going to create create map. And now what I'll do is I'll copy the CONUS layer and I'll paste it twice. And this first copy I'm going to rename uh, Alaska. And this one I'm going to rename Hawaii. Uh, so we'll turn this off, this guy off, and let's uh, turn uh, CONUS on and we'll see what we have here. So we, now we have a map, uh, which is a map window where we can reproject the map window. And that'll reproject whatever is in, in it on the fly. So right now we we started by using a uh, pseudo mercator, uh, and uh, you can see how the pseudo mercator is reprojecting the uh, latitude and longitude. But Alaska is still pretty distorted. Now if I move the mouse cursor here over into, over into the United States, we can see that the center of the United States is roughly at latitude 40, longitude minus 96. It's 96 west. So let's reproject this map into Lambert conformal conic to uh, use that uh, projection and uh, with, with those settings. Click here on More, and here in Custom, I will choose the uh, Lambert Confirm Iconic. Uh, I'll use a single parallel since I'm lazy. I don't want to keep entering multiple parallels. So for center latitude, what did I say it was? Okay, that was 40, and center longitude was uh, minus 96. Great, and let's call this uh, uh, LCC Conus. Super. Click OK, and you can see that's a pretty good rendition of uh, the United States. I'm going to right-click and drag to zoom into it. So that's about how, we, how we're familiar we're used to seeing uh, the United States in uh, thematic maps. And uh, what I will do is I will save this current location so that we can reuse it. And I'll call it Location Conus. C-O-N-U-S. Great. And now let's do the same thing for Alaska. And if I move the cursor over Alaska here, and I look at what's going on here in the status bar, the readout, I can see that you know right around here we're looking at latitude 65 and longitude about minus 141. Uh, and I, I want to use a, a, a latitude, which is aligned to this uh, vertical line, so that that stays vertical when I reproject into Lambert conformal conic. That'll be that, that'll be the center. So let's uh, go here into the uh, into the info pane, and there again we're going to change the projection used by the map window. Uh, once again, we're going to use a Lambert conformal conic, and uh, we'll use single parallel because we're we're still lazy. I'm going to call this uh, LCC Alaska. And for the center latitude, I'm going to use, what I say, 65. And center longitude, minus 141. Great. Click OK. And that reprojects Alaska into, uh, you know, a pretty good look. So that doesn't look all that distorted. You know, for all we're looking at is Alaska, that's, that's not a bad thing to do. Here again, I will save the current location. And we'll call that location uh, Alaska. Great. Okay, so now you can, as you probably guessed, we're going to do the same thing for Hawaii. Uh, Hawaii, if we move the cursor onto it down here, we're going to use a latitude of 20 and a longitude of minus uh, 157. That looks like it's going to be about right. Here again in the info pane, I'm going to change the uh, projection used by the map window. Uh, we're again going to use a Lambert conformal conic. I could use something else, but may as well just uh, uh, keep consistent here. And we'll call this uh, LCC Hawaii. And the center latitude is going to be 20. And the center longitude is going to be uh, minus 157. Click OK. And that reprojects everything so that uh, Hawaii is, is like that. And uh, let's, uh, let's save that as a current location. And we're going to call that a location. So now what we've done is uh, we've taken this uh, very same states table, which was in latitude and longitude, excuse me, states uh, drawing latitude and longitude, and uh, we now are looking at it through three different maps. Uh, one called uh, CONUS, which has a projection which uh, looks works well for the uh, continental United States. One called Alaska, which works well for Alaska, and one called Hawaii, which works well for Hawaii. But it's the same data set. 
So if we make any modifications to this uh, state's table, for example, thematically formatted in different ways, it'll simultaneously change the colors and appearance in all these three maps. So now we can go to town. Let's uh, create a layout and click New Layout. And I don't want to use margins. I'm just going to call it a layout. C click Create Layout. Let's pop that layout open. And uh, what I do here, File, Page Setup. I don't want Portrait. I want Landscape. Click OK. There. Now I've got landscape mode. So now I'll start dragging and dropping these uh, different maps into uh, the layout. I'm going to start with the Conus map. So there it is right there. And uh, let's all click that so I can resize that and make that smaller. And uh, let's uh, zoom in to about like that. And then I'm going to move that up about here. And now I'm going to double click on that so I can use my locations and do a location Conus. And there's the location of, of continental United States, right about there. That looks pretty good. Uh, okay, uh, now let's uh, let's add Alaska. So that we're going to add Alaska is uh, I'm going to go back here to the project pane, drag and drop Alaska into the map, and that's going to start by populating the whole window frame. So I'm going to reduce that in size to make that smaller, make it about that big, and I'll move that right around here. Double click on that, and uh, now what I will do is I will choose Location Alaska. So that's going to zoom to about to the Alaska location. I'm using the wheel mouse here to uh, alter this slightly, and I can right-click and drag. Because when I've double-clicked into a frame to activate it for uh, panning and zooming, I can I can use the regular the same commands that we use in the rest of Manifold. All right, now as you can imagine, we're going to do one more. We're going to do uh, Hawaii. So let's do the project, and we're going to drag and drop the Hawaii map into the uh, layout. And again, that sh that's opening up using the entire layout. So I'm going to alt-click down into here, and I will resize this to make it smaller. And let's make it about like that, which should work out well. Uh, Double-click into it to activate it for uh, panning and zooming. And here I would choose location Hawaii. There's Hawaii. I'll use the wheel mouse to uh, pull out of it like that, to zoom out a little bit like that. Good. I'll alt-click again. I'll click again to resize the... Uh, window. There, that looks about right. And there we go. So we've just created a layout. I'll click out here to uh, do that. If I, if I turn off the uh, frames, you can see what that layout's going to look like. Uh, we can tinker with this all day long, of course, uh, because uh, a lot of uh, GIS uh, artistry is uh, all about tinkering. And uh, we can move all these different frames around to, uh, suit, to suit our tastes. Uh, but that's not pretty bad. We've uh, spent uh, 7 minutes and 50 seconds, less than 8 minutes. We've created a layout here which uh, shows the continent of the United States. It shows Alaska and it shows uh, Hawaii. All this data comes from Natural Earth, by the way. It's just been uh, slightly uh, reformatted uh, to make it look uh, you know, a little, little bit uh, more car cartographic instead of just uh, plain. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, quick video that shows you how to uh, create layouts that uh, combine these things. What we've done is we're using the very same data set here. So anything that we change, any, any thematic formatting we change, is going to thematically format all these different uh, windows here, which are, which are three different views into the same data set uh, using uh, one Lambert conformal conic projection here for the United the continental United States, a different one here for Alaska, yet another one here for Hawaii. All, all the three different uh, frames are uh, panned and zoomed differently. So that gives us a considerable flexibility. I hope you've enjoyed this short video. Thanks for watching, and goodbye from Manifold Land. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. Uh, as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.